Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about one step inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 11 is greater than or equal to 5 plus x. Okay? Well, I need to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract a 5 to both sides. And in doing so, by subtracting 5 to both sides, I'm left with x on the right and 11 minus 5 on the left, which is 6. But I need to have, uh, even though x is isolated, I want to have x written first. So I'm going to rewrite this, have x is first, and 6 on this side, and make sure when I do that, I have also to flip the inequality. So I have less or greater than now or equal to. So when all 6 is less than or equal to x, it's the same thing as x is greater than or equal to 6. And that is my final answer. But I need to graph it. So by graphing it right here, okay, uh, I need to show that x is greater than or equal to 6. So let's go put uh, 6 here. And we have 7, 8, 9, and 10. And uh, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Okay. So if x is greater than or equal to 6, all right, I need a closed circle at 6 because it's going to equal 6. Then we said x is greater than 6. So my arrow is going to go to the right showing that x can be any of these values that are greater than 6, like 8, right? 8 is fits, right? If I put 8 into this inequality, it makes it a true statement, right? So it does not. So does 6, right? 6 is greater than or equal to 6. But 5 does not, right? 5 goes in. 5, hmm, not greater than or equal to 6. That's not true. It doesn't match with my graph. So my graph does match my inequality, which is x is greater than or equal to 6. So let's recap. We're given 11 is less than or equal to 5 plus x. I subtracted a 5 to both sides, leaving me with a 6 on the left is less than or equal to x, which is on the right. I then rewrite this, I rewrote this to have x come first. And in doing so, I have x here is greater than or equal to 6. By doing uh, rewriting it and have x come first, we also have to flip the inequality as well. <clears throat> so I had to graph that. Since it's equal to 6, I put in a closed circle at 6. And since x was greater than as well, I put the arrow to the right showing that my graph here matches my answer, uh, which is x is greater than or equal to 6.